is up, everybody? How's your weekend? We having a good Saturday? Huh? Huh? Having a good Saturday so far? Hope so. Welcome into the Community Showcase. We've got a good one for everyone today. A real good one, actually. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of really good uh, workshop blueprints to put into your zoos. We have a whole slew, there it is. We have a whole slew of mods to look through and we have two awesome zoos to do today. So how are we all doing there? Again, I hope you're all having a good weekend. So glad that you're able to make it for this community showcase there. If you're watching in the future, hello from the past. Been noticing that we've been getting a lot of people watching uh, the showcase back later on, not live. So hello, future you. How's the future right now? Is, is everything good? Okay, good. Um, but anyways, yeah, I hope we're all having a good one. Good to see so many of the creators in chat that uh, we are showcasing today. But yeah, overall, again, welcome in and let's get started because we have a bunch of stuff to do and especially one big zoo from there he is just Goron been in here for over two hours waiting but big zoo to look at from just Goron there so but let's start we're gonna start with uh the mods this week so modders here we are here are our lovely modders that we are showcasing this week we have a new person there new person coming in the modding showcase there hot and heavy we have sawdust dioramas so we have sawdust in almost everything we've seen zoos or projects from sawdust We've seen workshop items, and now uh, Sawdust has taken the leap and being a modder as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have to offer today. So the first thing we're gonna do is from Sawdust there. And I love, these are, they're starting out with like, kind of like simple little things, but they're very, very uh, noteworthy and everything. And then, um, and yeah, these are just some of their uh, first things there. And here we go. So Sawdust has the first mod here, which is the, let me get the right name for it. The Plain Tea Crate. So this is the Plain Tea Crate there from Sawdust. So they just took away, um, they just took away all the stuff on them. So I flipped, um, I know you can't really tell, but I flipped over um, on the side, all that kind of fun stuff, all the tea boxes here. So this is all the different sides. They took off all the little uh, insignia. So if you just want some crates, there you go. Uh, and then the next one is the uh, do not feed and um, I can't really tell what it says. I messaged them this morning, let them know that their textures were a little bit blurry. I didn't get a message back because I want to know if they were okay with still showing them. Since I didn't get a message back, I figured we'd still show them off, but they changed it to English essentially. And here's the English. It's, so I think they're gonna um, kind of uh, tackle this or kind of take a look at it to make it look a little bit sharper and everything. But yeah, overall they uh, took a lot of the textures and erased some stuff and turned them to English there. So there you go from Sawdust, new modder there, new modder. <laughs> um, did something wrong with, well, I think something, yeah. Something, because you can kind of see it here just a little bit too. So again, you know, it's their first modding attempt and um, I like the direction they're going with the mods overall. So we will see more from Sawdust. Um, it's just quiet, please. Thank you. Uh, we'll see more from Sawdust in the future there. So let's go ahead and move on to... Are we paused? Oh, we're paused. That's why. Let's move on to the animals here, which are really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and show off the first one, which is actually the thumbnail. And I think this might be the best looking animal that I've seen the modders do here. And this is from Nicholas Lion Rider. And Lion Rider actually messaged me, messaged me this morning and let's see they said it was from oh credit is credit due the link's model was originally created by uh marigee m-e-r-i-g-e-e -E -E. so credit to marigee for the original links model but here is the eurasian uh links from uh, lion rider overall re redoing it there and holy guacamole, it looks so good. Let's see if we can get one in the sun or just let it run around there. But um, if you can't tell from the thumbnail, this is about as close to frontier uh, standard as you're gonna get, I think, there. So that, that's just, that is miraculous looking. And of course, this is a standalone mod as well. So here's the other one. Of course, they're both facing away from the sun right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for those of you that would want a Lynx in the game, why wouldn't you? This is, uh, this is amazing looking. And again, standalone mods, ridiculously easy to put into your game. They don't break your game or anything. They're not illegal. I feel like I have to say this every single week because every week either on Reddit or some other social media, I see someone posting misinformation about mods saying they're illegal. If you if you download them, you'll be arrested. No, they're fine. <laughs> they're just mods. It's fine, everyone. Uh, so yeah, hey, there you, that's, that's nice. Look, you got the two links uh, right there. So yeah, this, this is uh, fantastic. Maybe except for like the moose and stuff like that. Like 
the moose the lynx and a few others are really 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 high class and this is definitely up there so uh there you go with that let's look at the next one here we're just kind of going all over the place so uh yeah let's do the unicorn it's a unicorn harry so here we go we have the male unicorn this is from pure winter and leaf uh, i believe that pure winter originally did this is a replacement mod and leaf has come uh, come in uh, similar to the links and redone it for standalone mods so these are standalone mods look how great these look okay so I, again i believe this is the male yep this is the male there and then we have the female so is that how it is in like uh mythology that all female unicorns are white and all the males are black but look at this this is so great so yeah this is now a standalone mod so instead of the replacement one replacing the i believe zebra um now it just is a standalone one again super easy to install just literally click and drag into a folder and boom done so there you go with the unicorn i want to see some awesome fantasy parks come in i want to see some awesome fantasy parks start to uh, pop up more than uh lion rider has one going on that's really good but let's see some others there next up next up i think from leaf here is the oh so this is from pure winter and leaf as well and this is the uh hey harley quince how you doing buddy uh this is the rocky mountain elk and uh yeah this is made by pure winter and leaf there so i believe this is another uh replacement mod that was converted into a standalone mod there so this looks fantastic i love this these are going uh, as soon as we get back into into a zoo or into a campground uh oh <laughs> um they're told this is totally going into into there that's fantastic and here's the female as well really good work on that there so yeah there you go you have the um the rocky mountain elk from leaf and pure originally from pure winter and then converted uh, by leaf there so uh next up i think might be the last one someone pointed them out they saw them how could you miss them here look at what lion rider did with these little uh the golden tamarinds here holy cow these look amazing i was watching him make these uh yesterday and do some uh photos and stuff like that but look at these little dudes oh they're so great looking definitely want to put a few of those in your uh in your zoos there they they just would uh stand out so much that is fantastic looking the little faces and paws and everything <laughs> the, the orange is just so bright yeah that's that's fantastic so again uh another standalone mod so all the mods that we've shown off today except for um sawdust which are the plain tea crate and the uh the security signs are all standalone mods so you can just download these really really easy they yeah they're really easy to install and there you go they're in the zoo and then of course if you if you're new to the modding scene you haven't really seen them much these are uh fully legit so they have a zoopedia they have a whole bio with them uh you know they have where their natural habitat is going into your south america section there the species data like all this is super well done by the modders so it is fully legit um so there you go and they like to hang out with the colombian cappuccino monkeys there so there you go so i think uh, i think that is all of our mods for the day and yeah just really big shout out to our new modder shout out to sawdust i uh, hope to see some more from sawdust in the future i know that they are playing around with mods start out and then yeah pure winter leaf lion rider and as well as uh marriage for doing the original lynx model there so a lot of really cool um mods that used to be replacement mods are now being converted over to uh standalone mods so much much easier uh, and much more uh, friendly for everyone to kind of install there so awesome good job everybody good job modders i wanted to start with modders today just because i wanted to get that links uh, since i had it in the thumbnail had to show that links off right away so <laughs> awesome so let's go ahead and head on over to the workshop items here so I do know that uh, a few people are busy right now with a premiere for a project. One of them is my uh, my lead mod there, Mr. Sawdust. Um, or Sawdust. <laughs> Silver Fox, excuse me. Is Silver Fox. Normally Silver Fox will be posting links and stuff like that to all these, um, you know, mods, workshop items, stuff. Again, they're a little bit busy with a premiere going on right now for a Mars project, which is really cool. Uh, but don't forget that all the links and everything are in the description down below. Um, so be sure to click on that and, you know, subscribe and um, all that kind of fun stuff for all these mods and workshop items and stuff like that. So cool. Um, let's go ahead and see what we have here. So the first one starting us off is going to be from Simply Savannah. That's right. We haven't seen from Simply Savannah in just a little bit there. Um, so yeah, these are the first few things. Where is 
my notes. There they, there they are. Okay. So this first one is going to be the fencing cover slash decor from Miss Simply Savannah. And this turned out really, really nice there. Love this little quick throw on to your, uh, the side of your habitats there. So yeah, you can kind of just put this along a path or anything like that. Nice little, uh, a little viewing area on the side of your habitats there. So awesome job there from Savannah. And the other one is an uh, adventure style shade structure. Look how awesome this is. Um, this this looks amazing. And they could just imagine putting some like maybe Coke machines or vending machines, I mean, and uh, maybe some like little seating area under there. Just be a nice little quaint little uh, seating area for especially for, like a South America or maybe African, you know, there's a lot of different uh, kind of themes right there. So yeah, this is really, really nice there uh, from Simply Savannah. Hey, Silver Fox coming in, doing double duty. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Uh, but yeah, nice uh, little things there for your zoos, especially adventure style uh, zoos from Simply Savannah. So be sure to go and grab uh, those items down below there. Noise. Hey, Domez, how we doing, buddy? Next up from, I think it's Compliment. There we go, I'm all out of order here. So uh, next up from Compliment, and this is the, uh, we've reviewed a few of their things now. This is the Animal Eye Pack. And uh, this is really unique. And you can see that it kind of fits in with like um, pathing and maybe on the side of buildings and stuff like that. But yeah, you have the vertical pupil predators for felines, round pupil mammals, uh, vertical pupils for your crocodiles and some amphibians. Uh, horizontal pupils for doll sheep, zebra, bison. So yeah, there you go from Compliment, just giving us these really unique eye structures or just, yeah, um, yeah, the way that um, eyes look for different uh, animals there. And again, I can picture on like the side of buildings or maybe in like a house slash museum kind of thing. Um, yeah, or maybe especially on a, on a path, like especially these flat ones. Like, yeah, because these are almost um, all the way flat, except for the border. You can put, uh, sink these into a uh, path and everything. So, yeah, that's really interesting. I like that. That's really cool. So, um, do, 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 do. if someone makes a zoo with an animal, will it be there? No. Nope. The animals do not stay uh, with it. So, cool. All right. So, next up from Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas gave us maybe the teeniest, tiniest little blueprint I've ever seen in in the world there. Because <laughs> Lucas has made two small rabbits, right? Is that what you call them here? <laughs> yeah, small rabbits. These are these are small rabbits from Lucas there. And you know what? I'm here for it. I was I was mentioning how uh, we need some more like squirrels and yeah, rabbits and like little birdies and stuff like that and look at lucas gave us some little bitty rabbits so now you just got to make some little uh rabbit offspring it's just a little <laughs> so yeah there you go you know what i could totally picture these in like a petting zoo or just like you know an offhand little small habitat or exhibit you know as you're walking by or whatever but yeah there you go there you go so uh you can get a much better look uh that was shown in the teaser it looks really good the babarusa on Twitter, we'll look at that real quick since we're in a Planet Zoo showcase. Where? Oh, there it is. For those of you that didn't see the the Babarusa, we'll take a look at that real quick. Boom! There you go. Look at that thing. They're just. I agree with Pacha. They are so ugly. <laughs> These things are just so. They have a face for radio. For sure. Holy cow. <laughs> they look amazing, right? But, man, and it's so crazy. I learned that their tusks have to be filed down or else they'll like pierce their brains and kill them. <laughs> Essentially, it's like, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, right, exactly, in a good way, right? They're ugly in a good way. So, yep, that's I was. That's exactly what I was thinking. And you know, the, the pink on them, uh, I was in the trailer, some people were noting that uh, they were looking a little bit too pink. I think it's a nice gray pink that they have going on here. So, yeah, no, that's good. That's, that looks really good. It's a nice turnaround from the uh, the Binta Rong. <laughs> so, cool. Let's go ahead and continue with the showcase. Thanks for pointing that out that they had uh, tweeted that. I missed that. So, cool. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, uh, again, here's from Lucas. The little wabbits. The little wabbits there from Lucas. So, all right, let's move on to the next row of awesome things to look at here. This is going to be from Jay Rassic. I've seen Jay Rassic in there a few times. Now, this this threw me because I thought for sure this was going to be a like zoo, but 
And this is a habitat that you can just put into your uh, zoos willy-nilly without it being a separate file. Here's the Mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom Pavilion recreation from Jay Rasig there. So let's go ahead. And this is the 2007 remodel. Okay, so that's what it is. So cool. Uh, all right, let's head on inside. Take a look at the amazing work by Jay Rasig here. We're coming on in. And yeah, look at all this. Cool. This is fun. Nice little setting in here. You know what that's cool is there's a lot of things that we're going to be looking at from Jay Rasik, uh separately pulled from here. It's like these lights. Those are going to be a separate item. This little box right here is a separate item you can download. So that's kind of cool. They pull all this stuff there. All right. So let's walk on over this way. Ah, look at there. That's like a placeholder for the um, for the new billboards we're going to be getting, right? It's a, it's a no signal right now, though. <laughs> ah, cool. Look at all these little uh, exhibits in there. Jay Rasik is like the king of uh, king or queen of the uh, implied exhibits there. there we go. Some of them not so implied though, right? Yeah, I know this right here, this is either the Octagon fake exhibit or the Hex fake exhibit. Uh, this is gonna be an item you can download uh, willy-nilly. We'll get a standalone look at that in a little bit. I just love all the standalone exhibits that um, they do. Look at this, by the way, the putting the leaves around. I feel like I'm in Rainforest Cafe. Right? Like, it, it just kind of feels like Rainforest Cafe here in the middle part. Oh, that's so cool with the tree coming up in the middle. Oh, that's so neat. A little, uh, like, atrium kind of thing going on here. Yeah, they, they have the uh, turtle in there. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's all Jurassic stuff. Yeah, with the little netting going around there. Oh, that's so well done. That's really well done. We go here's some of the signs that we'll be looking at later. Oh, I love these. These are perfect. These are the kind of things that you see all over, uh, like exhibit houses and stuff like that. Like these just little almost at home aquarium or terrarium sets and stuff like that. So, hey, Yar, how you doing? That's really good. Let's see along this wall is like a desert kind of wall looks like. Nice. There's our little restroom. Do, do. You Google the Omaha Zoo. This is a recreation from that zoo. Very nice. Look at all the detail there. That's amazing. All right, let's, let's turn it to nighttime. I feel like this might be a good one to look at nighttime. 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 <laughs> I was right. Oh, yeah, this looks really good. Again, these fluorescent lights up here, those are going to be a separate item uh, for them, for you to all to get there. Oh, I like this. Look at that. Little museum board thing. Really well done. Like, I love all the little details through here. And the lighting's on point, too. Yeah, lighting is really, really well done, so... Very, very nice. So let's go ahead and boop out here. You know what else? They have like little smoke detect or not little, but like some smoke alarms or something like that up there. There's so many cool little details all around. So be sure to download this and look at all the details for yourself there. Let's turn it back to night or uh, daytime. Daytime, daytime. The chipboard, I know, right? That that fit in really well with the bamboo pieces on top. Yep. Um, you got that on the workshop for sure, for sure. Uh, but cool, let's uh, we'll take a look at the outside of it because the outside uh, architecture is really cool. The roofing looks like a pain in the arse, uh, but you definitely pulled it off really well. Um, yeah, th just really good job. Really good job on this overall. So just make sure I didn't miss any backstage stuff or anything. A little bit of backstage, right? So it's actually functioning. That's cool. <laughs> nice. So, all right, let's move forward with more J. Rassic stuff there. Uh, the next one up is going to be the uh, Electrical Transformer uh, from Jay Rassic. And again, it was really good. What does this say there? Caution, stay back. Okay, sorry, Jay Rassic, I'll stay back. Um, but we have some awesome, this awesome Electrical Transformer from Jay Rassic. And um, this kind of goes really well with um, Mr. Domez's uh, infrastructure set. Uh, looks like, oh, look at all the, wow, look at all the amazing details here. Is this all in-game pieces? Or is there like something behind here? Just, oh wow it is it's all in game stuff um but yeah you have some really good infrastructure stuff here between uh, jay rasik and mr domez and stuff like that so awesome from there crown molding in there uh, yeah <laughs> yeah right uh black yeah next up from jay rasik we're gonna have the oh, my notes are all out of place here was this the four bay half circle fake exhibits the tropics yeah the tropics one so here we go more fake exhibits for everyone to put into their uh houses and zoos and everything here's the tropics half circle exhibits really really well done i just i'm always blown away 
despite North American tropics, the Everglades. It's always blown away by the details that uh, Jurassic is able, able to uh, cram in here. Freshwater, tropical river. You know, and it just, it, whatever they say that, it, like, or whatever biome they're going for, they totally nail it. Just every single time, it's, they just always nail it. We'll look at this at nighttime, too. Australian uh, rainforest. Southeast Asia. Hey, there you go. Southeast Asia. A few more days, right? What? Uh, three more days? There you go. All right. Just nighttime all the way through. We'll just do nighttime all the way through. There you go. At nighttime. Hey, you can still see the details. I was um, then thinking we'd be able to see the details, but yeah, we definitely still can. I love the Everglades one. That's awesome. African rainforest. South American rainforest. Perfect. All right. Let's move up to the next one. Uh, so this next one is going to be uh, a lot of the similar name, but this is going to be with the desert. So the so the uh, four by eight half circles, fake exhibits for the desert here. So first one is Australia. Wow, look at that with the orange. That looks so good. You know, it, it's <laughs> kind of a bad memory, but this this looks just like when um, those pictures of Australia when it was uh, having those terrible uh, fires at the beginning of 2020. 